This video is sponsored by UnlockThatPhone.com. Unlock any phone, any carrier worldwide. Visit UnlockThatPhone.com for more information. What's up guys? So I've got a really, really cool ROM to show you today. It's extremely customizable. It's called Nameless ROM. Now it's Android 4.4.2 obviously, um, and it's meant for you know the Canadian Galaxy S4, the AT&T Galaxy S4, Virgin, um, and probably since it's available for the Canadian S4, probably the um, N9505 international version, um, and if I hadn't already said it, most likely T-Mobile as well. Um, anyways, super customizable ROM. I'm gonna go ahead and show you now. Um, so really, really briefly, when you first install it and you, your first boot up screen to the um, setup wizard, uh, it's got a customized setup wizard, which is really cool, much like uh, CyanogenMod. Mod. Uh, so it's got that customized um, setup wizard. Uh, also, it does have um, scroll the option for scrollable wallpapers. So I just wanted to kind of get that out of the way. Uh, if we jump into the application tray, you'll notice we really don't have anything too fancy here. Uh, with the exception of you know DSP manager and uh, the flashlight, and, and that's pretty much it. Um, the camera uh, is working; uh, it seems to be stable and working. Everything works there. So just in case you guys were wondering, um, so let's go ahead and just skip through all that and jump right into the settings menu here. Um, there are a couple of things that I wanted to touch base on: just the standard, general, you know, sound and display. Um, a couple of these general settings options here. So jumping into sound here, one thing that did stand out to me the most was the lack of the option to disable the safe headset warning. Anyways, so we've got just your basic um, options as you would expect. Seriously, I mean, you know, most custom ROMs have pretty much all of these options already enabled in them. Same thing with display and lights. Um, really nothing new here. And I guess that's probably because they saved all the good stuff um, up here for the uh, device control updater and all these different ROM customization options here. You'll notice we do have the toggle between sort of the gradient background and of course the completely blacked out one, which is definitely uh, more my preference if you wanted to know. Uh, so let's go ahead and start it with device control here. So this is kind of an interesting area. Um, it's much like AOKP's ROM control area. Uh, this They've obviously named this one device control instead, but uh, it's quite similar. Um, I don't, myself personally, I probably won't be using all the options, but uh, we'll go ahead and go through them anyway. So you've got two ways of getting to this screen right here. So you can go ahead and just swipe out from the right to the left, just like that, and a bunch of different customizable options in here for you guys to use. Um, I most likely will still steer clear of these. I just probably won't ever touch any of these, but if you did want to get into there, you can also, you know, click on the overflow and click on settings. So it's kind of silly that there's two ways to get to it, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and swipe out from the right, um, from the left to the right, click on device here, and we can go ahead and you'll notice we've got things like the glove mode, vibrate strength, uh, enable keys backlight, um, screen color temperature, which yes, it does in fact work. And, and I want to point out that that's actually really cool that they included it in this ROM because um, you know, most AOSP based ROMs, custom AOSP ROMs for Samsung Galaxy devices don't include that. That color temperature is usually reserved for just straight up TouchWiz custom ROMs. Um, so I'm really liking to see, uh, I'm really liking that they put that in there. Um, and yes, there is a massive difference between cold and hot. I've tested it out and uh, and it does work. So it's really nice to see that. So you go ahead and customize that to your heart's content. Uh, we can go ahead and move on from there to performance here. And this is, you know, gives you a big old warning. This is where uh, it actually works really well in tandem with the custom kernel that comes with it so the custom I don't recommend flashing another kernel you always could if you wanted to you know don't 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 not flash a kernel because I don't recommend it but um, this kernel is meant to work in tandem with this custom ROM and and I think the marriage between the two is perfect so personally my recommendation is just leave the kernel alone um, so in here anyways as you can see we've got all kinds of great battery optimizing settings in here things like that so all kinds of just awesome stuff in here which I really really appreciate the addition of um, let's go ahead and move on from there to task so if you want to do any optimizing with Tasker, things like that in here, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, and then of course we have uh, tools, last but not least, of course, so we can go ahead and move on from there. This is the section that I was talking about just a minute ago, saying that you'll probably never find me in here. So we've got things like the VM editor. Um, we've got, whoops, we've got the uh, Sys, I'm gonna assume that sounds for Sys control. I, I, again, I, I'm no developer and this stuff is like a, a little bit beyond me. So let's go ahead and move on to home. So of course you have the option to change your launchers, uh, jump into interface here, tons of options in here so we can jump into status bar uh, all the standard stuff that you would expect so you can change around you know your battery icon your signals the cut you know everything you can do there um, custom carrier label uh, and then we've got and this is something this is a trend I've been noticing uh, in a lot of custom AOSP ROMs these days is these breathing notifications um, so I'm gonna start having to get into these a little bit more I haven't 
spent too much time testing these out but um they do look really really cool so uh that's there for you if you guys are interested in uh in that um so that's cool oh and actually we've got this uh thing called double tap to sleep now i don't know if really if this is necessary or not but um if you want to go ahead and double tap the status bar and as you can see it turns off the status or turns um turns your it puts your bloody device to sleep all right <laughs> stumbling there um so anyways i'm sick i'm sorry all right so uh so we'll get to go ahead and back out of there notification drawer tons of options in here as you can see uh, well not tons but enough to get you through uh and then of course we've got you know the quick settings panels now generally speaking i don't mess around with my quick settings panels um i actually really like the simplistic layout this usually does the trick for me um so that's there and of course, expanded desktop, which I think is pointless in this ROM, uh, if you wanted to know my opinion. Uh, we go ahead and move into lock screen, and there's a ton of options in here. So you've got the battery around lock ring, see through. So we've got this, right? I think you may have already seen this. So as you can see, you can actually see the content behind your lock screen, which is kind of cool. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to unlock it. Um, custom widgets, blah, 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 blah. Where was it? Oh, maybe this wasn't the part that had the. Yeah, this wasn't the one. Okay, just wait, just wait. So we've got animation control as well. Uh, oh, no, wait, we haven't jumped into, did we jump into lock screen? Where is, I was looking for something here. There it is, lock screen notifications. That's what I was talking about. So in lock screen notifications here, you can see we've got a ton of awesome options in here. And when I say a ton of awesome options, I mean, it's got things like the lock screen notifications. So basically, and pocket mode, all kinds of pocket modes and things like that, low priority. But basically, what I'm trying to get at is, um, say for instance, you receive notifications in your pocket, right? So you pull, you, uh, you pull the phone out of your pocket, and of course, yes, this will use a little more battery power because it is constantly pinging your sensors, um, most likely your proximity sensor and or light sensor. But anyways, if I go ahead and cover up the sensors here, and give it a moment to sort of simulate me pulling it out of the pocket. Go ahead and remove my thumbs there. As you can see, it brings in my lock screen. Now, in this screen here, at the lock screen here, if I had any additional notifications, they would actually show up here almost like, kind of like the same idea as Halo, except it's just meant for your lock screen. So it's got all the different um, notifications there and you can go ahead and dismiss them or jump into the applications and, and um, take a look at them if you need to. But I thought that was a really neat, uh, neat addition to this ROM, neat customization. So that's cool. Um, but as you, yeah, so anyways, that's lock screen. Let's move on from there. Animation control. This is insane. So uh, this animation control section is basically, if you guys are familiar with XUI module for exposed framework, this is pretty much the exact same thing. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they asked the guy for permission. They just kind of like hard baked it right into the ROM. But basically, if I want to give you guys a bit of an example, I'm not going to go through all the different animations. Go ahead. And uh, as you can see, I'm here on my Nexus 5 with XUI mod with all the different animations. And just to give you a quick example, as I scroll up and down, you can see the different animation that I have, right? And this isn't just limited to list view. You've got system, so like your applications opening and closing. You've got list view, scrolling, and keyboard. So tons, tons of animations, um, custom animations. So you, I mean, you can really, really deck out this ROM if you wanted to. So it's back out of there, uh, jump into more, and we basically have recents RAM bar and included cache. And this is interesting. So if we go ahead and click on the recents task, go ahead and click on recents, there we go. You'll notice that right now at the moment we have one gigabyte used, okay? Now, if I go ahead and click back on my settings and I click on included cache apps, and then I long press for my recent task skin, you'll notice now it's actually 1.5 gigabytes used. So that basically tells me that we're actually getting a true reading of how much RAM we're actually using and how much RAM we actually have free. Um, and I'll probably leave that enabled because it just makes sense to me. Uh, anyways, guys, it's a really cool ROM and I'm very, very impressed with the amount of customizations and the layout that the developers put those customizations in order. Um, definitely appreciate that. Very clean ROM, um, especially for something that's so customizable and just jam packed. Um, let's go ahead and just, just so we can show you guys, because I think I wanted to show you, I'm, I'm sure some of you guys are going to be interested in the kernel, if I can find where the bloody hell it is. Uh, oh, here it is. This is something also interesting, advanced device info. So we can go ahead and jump in here. This, I completely forgot about this. So it gives you a bunch of advanced uh, information here processor features, uh, memory, kernel. So you can see we've got this kernel here, um, GPU and all kinds of other interesting information here if you guys wanted to check that out. But anyways, um, yeah, so I definitely, if you have a Galaxy S4, I definitely recommend checking this ROM out. It is certainly, certainly worth the download. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for this one. I'll be having a link in the description below to the ROM as well as G apps. Uh, and I'll be following this video up with a how to install if you're interested. Um, but that's it.
Thanks as always for watching, guys. If you like the video, click the likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Uh, until next time, guys, cheers.